Well, we saw that uh, Bill Burns, the uh, the uh, CIA director and a very experienced diplomat, uh, just uh, traveled to Riyadh to meet with uh, Mohammed bin Salman uh, during uh, Ramadan. Uh, there, there have been disagreements between the U.S. and Saudi Arabia, uh, most recently over the reaction and response to the uh, Russian aggression against Ukraine. Uh, but, uh, but you know, some of the uh, the long-standing tensions. But underlying all of that, uh, the relationship is strong, and I think that the Saudis have been at pains uh, to reiterate that, uh, that for them, uh, the U.S. is their key partner. We have had a security relationship with Saudi Arabia, really, since the end of World War II. Uh, that is going to continue. Uh, what President Biden was referring to in his comments, of course, was whether the U.S. would be providing offensive weapons that the Saudis would be using uh, in order to sustain their military campaign inside of Yemen. He, uh, and he pledged to, to uh, slow down on that, but not to change the fundamental basis of the U.S.-Saudi uh, security relationship. Uh, and he's maintained that. And, of course, uh, what we've seen in the uh, almost year and a half since uh, President Biden took office is that uh, uh, the initial hope uh, was that the change in U.S. policy would encourage the Houthis uh, to come back to the negotiating table. But rather than do that, they doubled down on their military operations, increasing their, uh, uh, their operations in Madhub and, and in Taz, again, as Butter referred to. Uh, and therefore, the context in which President Biden made those comments is no longer really valid.